Hey everybody, David Barnes here from ZendCon 2015 in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. I am being joined by Mark Vanderwill. Mark is a distinguished engineer with our Emerging Internet Technologies Group, which surprises me because you're a distinguished engineer, you're at an IBM Bluemix booth, and when I walked in, I saw you flying a drone. What does a drone have to do with IBM Bluemix? Well, Bluemix is a platform that lets you rapidly create applications built for the cloud. One of the many services it has is our Internet of Things service that lets you quickly connect devices and control them remotely. So this is not just you got an app on your iPhone or phone, whatever, and you're making it go up and down. You're going into the cloud. Absolutely. Anybody can control the device locally. What we're doing that's unique is we're controlling it securely and remotely through the cloud. Okay, I like that. Anybody can do that, and not, no, we're not. We're up in the cloud. So you're using Bluemix, Internet of Things. What it, technically? What are you doing? How would you make this happen? So we used the Internet of Things boilerplate from Bluemix, and we modified it quickly to, to send JSON commands to the drone. Okay, so you've got Internet of Things there. You've got JSON commands. It does. You're using voice reco and cameras and. Yeah, just to make it fun, we, we actually use voice-to-text or, or speech-to-text and text-to-speech so that we can drive the drone with a conversation. We can say things like, you know, fly my drone, and it'll find my drone in the Internet of Things catalog and make that drone take off, fly it, even take pictures, and then we use the Alchemy APIs to tell us what's in the picture. You're having too much fun. Now, I look at this and I go, this is cool, but I've got a business and my business is not flying drones. What is this whole Internet of Things? in the cloud and on Bluemix. What's that got to do with me and my business? So what we're actually showing is the ability to do things real time, securely, from anywhere in the world. This could be building automation, it could be logistics, it could be trains communicating to cars that they're crossing a railroad track. It could actually be cars in front of you notifying you that they're having trouble. So there's lots of real world business applications for real time communications to the cloud and then doing analytics on the data you're getting back. And I do know about the technology under it and that you're using some transaction software. I mean, MQTT, you can handle hundreds of thousands of transactions a second. Is that right? Yeah, per instance, 10 million transactions a second. And um, real-time, pub-sub protocol, wow. lightweight, easy to use. Business, business, regardless of what your thing is in the Internet of Things. So my last question, can I drive it? Absolutely, with voice commands. And because, you know why? Because he told me, you can play with this one. This one's not mine. Thank you for giving me all of the explanation. And it does look very fun. And if Mark flies this and crashes it, I'll make sure to catch it on camera. And you can see that at youtube.com slash IBMETinfo. Thanks again. Let's go play. Thank you, Dave. Okay, let's do this.